machine. I'm Josh Stopper. So, I got a dilemma. I got to bend some, some thicker stuff and I just don't have the dies for it. Thicker and lighter. Those of you that follow me on Facebook saw this piece that came the other day. Um, so, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a bottom press break die. And we're going to do it on our beautiful American Toolworks planer. Now, this machine was bought at an auction. Um, it was considered a scrap and I got it pretty cheap, but the previous owner had a mill head on it, but they took it off for some reason, so I didn't get it. So I bought another Bridgeport J head put on there. And I'll tell you what, I couldn't be happier with this machine. I redid the electrics they had controlling the drive, um, put it in a nice pendant here, kind of box, you know, pretty, pretty handy. Uh, works really well for me. Um, this machine has been a money maker. I, I can't complain. So let's uh, get this thing fixed up, get it on there, and start milling. probably wondered what these clamp bars were I was using. And uh, going through some old old uh, books I have. I have a lot of old books on machining. Um, love this stuff. It's fun. Um, but I have a lot of old books. And I found these. Basically, this is what it is. It's just a block that goes in your key slot. Got a taper so it pushes down and it just locks it right in and uh, that holds it down and I haven't had any problems with these so now that I'm all indicated in I'm going to get set up and start the first cut Good in my in my press work. 
So let's get started. about tool life a little bit. Um, about six inches back, my quarter inch end mill burned up, so I had to change it out. Now I've been oiling this as we go, and it's, it's not enough. I mean, really, flood coolant would be best on this. Um, obviously, this machine was never designed to be a mill, um, so it's really not set up for flood coolant. So we just keep oiling it, just take our time. Um, like I said, where else are you going to find a machine that's capable of eight foot cuts? So you really got to improvise, um, and it's doing a very good job. That it's just a little much on that quarter inch end mill, and you, know, you have that. So, like I said, I changed it out middle of the cut. Um, we're going to finish this pass, and then I'm going to feed it back and get my final measurements. And I think we'll be right where we need to be. At the, uh, I said five eighths earlier. It really is half inch, five eighths high. So that's what the tang is to go into the press for you. I have an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter 
guy that I use for a lot of ten days, but uh, this is going to be a useful, useful guy. So, but I think our video is probably about at our limit for time once I get my editing done. I'm trying to save it in the 10 to 20 minute range, just to not be too much. And that's the end of our cut. So I'm trying to keep the video shorter, just so you guys don't get bored, don't move on, but uh, give you much, as much information as possible. Now this was a fun little project that uh, I've wanted to do for quite some time, and, and now we're finally starting on it. So um, with that, we'll edit this video out, and I'll get it up in the next few days. And uh, like us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. You can visit our website, www.toppermachine.com, and like and share, or like and subscribe. Subscribe to our channel, like our videos, stay with us, and uh, until next time, get out in the shop and get it done right the first time.